So it's now time to turn our attention to yet another gang of four pattern. This is arguably my favorite pattern in the book. I uh, go back and forth between this pattern and a few other patterns as far as which ones I like the most, but this is a great, great, great pattern. And it's called the strategy pattern. So as usual, let's go ahead and talk about how we apply the strategy pattern in order to be able to aid encapsulation of variability of algorithm and platform behaviors via common application programming interfaces. So we're gonna use this in order to change behaviors transparently. So the idea is to keep the source code fixed from a client perspective, from someone using the abstractions. And then we're gonna change the behavior uh, without changing the client code. By the way, when I use the word client, I don't necessarily mean client in the sense of client server. I just mean some piece of code that uses another abstraction. So that user is a client of that abstraction. You could also say you know, user or something like that, but I don't want to make it sound like this is an end user. So I use the word client. So in, in essence, what we're going to do is we're going to use strategy to decouple the interface of a behavior from its implementation or implementations. And the emphasis there is on the plural because you typically use this pattern when there's going to be more than one way of doing something. So certain program behaviors need to change in response to different user requirements and different runtime platforms. So for example, we may want to have different algorithms to traverse the expression tree in different orders, which we'll use to print and evaluate the tree, for example. And we've talked about this a number of times now, so you probably don't need much of a recap, but there's in-order, pre-order, post-order, and level order traversals. And we want to be able to use them in a way that's completely transparent to the clients. The client code will always look identical, but will change the way the traversal is actually happening under the hood by just passing in different parameters to the, the factory methods that create these iterator strategies. There's other uses of the strategy pattern, which I won't go into a lot of detail here because we're not talking about the, the user interface version that's based on Android. But in that case, it turns out that there's an Android graphical user interface way of doing things, and there's a command line way of doing things, and they end up sharing a, a ton of the same code, which is really cool. So how can we implement our code to be transparent to change? Well, first, it's, it's worthwhile talking about what would be an example that would not be transparent to change. And one example would be to hard code our implementations to only do one thing. So here's an example where we might have our expression tree have a begin factor method that always returns pre-order expression tree iterator impulse. And that's certainly possible, but now we're stuck with that one and only way of doing things. So adding new traversal algorithms would be very hard with that one interface. And supporting different runtime platforms could also be hard if that was important for our use case as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to define a family of behaviors. For example, we want to have a family of algorithms for traversing an expression tree in various orders, as we've seen here multiple times now. What we're going to do is we're going to encapsulate all these behaviors behind a common API. And the common API, of course, is going to be the STL iterator interface with plus plus and um, not equal and equal and dereference and so on. And then we're going to be able to make the implementations pluggable. So each different iterator strategy will look the same, even though the algorithms used to implement them will be quite different, as we've talked about before. So different traversal algorithms will all implement the same C++ STL iterator interface. So the, the fancy way of saying that is that strategy will encapsulate multiple traversal algorithms behind a common application programming interface, or API. Now, to make this really work properly, you need to add a few more patterns. So we're going to end up applying some creational pattern, like the factory method pattern, in order to make the appropriate type of iterator. And, and I think by now, you probably guessed that that's going to be done with the begin and end methods that are implemented as factory methods on the underlying expression tree. So that gives us an, an interface that's a common interface but then the implementation will decide which class to actually implement. So the way this is going to work is our hierarchy is based on the iterator pattern and the STL 
iterator interface, which you can see here. I just have a little snippet of it. And then we're going to go ahead and subclass from that in order to, or we're going to subclass from a representation of that in order to be able to fill in our different iterator strategies for pre order, in order, level order, and so on. To make this all work under the hood, of course, we're going to have to pull in some other reusable artifacts that we've come to know and love from STL, which in this case will be our container adapters for stack and queue. And as you can see here, in order, post order, and level order, sorry, in order, post order, and pre order iterators use a stack, whereas the level order iterator uses a queue. And I mentioned this before when we discussed iterator, but just as a quick recap, the pre order iterator and level order iterator algorithms are almost identical except pre-order uses a stack and level order uses a queue in order to provide depth first search semantics versus breadth first search semantics respectively so from a commonality and variability point of view the c iterator interface gives us a common strategy api which is what you'd come to know and love if you understand stl as you should by now and from a variability point of view, we can implement this interface to define different concrete strategies for different traversal orders.